Amen. I just want to just want to encourage you uh, this morning for this week, Amen, uh, to do the Lord's work, Amen. After all, you're a Christian, you're saved, Amen. How, how many born again we got in the building? Everybody born again? Praise the Lord. <clears throat> well, you're you are a Christian, and that means you do God's work, Amen. It's not rocket science, Amen. It's it's just the way it is, and so I, I just want to encourage you to do the Lord's work, Amen. The professing organized church, they don't, they don't go out to the lost. Amen? They don't. As a matter of fact, I, I was talking to one of the elders, of course, it's been decades ago, but one of the elders down here, one of the big churches here in town, uh, uh, I think it was Englewood, whatever, uh, down here, and, uh, you know, the big one out there by y'all's hotel out there. <clears throat> and... Uh, they said that they quit trying to get people, you know, reaching out like that because they got so big that they couldn't handle it if everybody come. And, uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I was like, but that's, that's a great problem to have. You know, you just need to expand, you know, do, you know, go bigger and, you know, and, and whatever it, it, it takes, amen, to win the lost. But that's, that's the typical mindset, amen, of the churches, amen, that, that not that they're just so big that they can't, you know, that they don't want to do nothing. It's just that they don't want to do nothing. Right. You know, it's just uh, uh, an inconvenience. Amen. And but the professing organized church, they, they don't go out to the lost. Amen. Yeah. Uh, yet God wants sinners to hear the message of repentance. That's that's the that's the that's the whole purpose, amen, of going out to the lost that sinners can hear. But yet, at the same time, the church is not going out there to fulfill the vision of God. That's God's vision. Bible says in Luke nineteen ten, the Bible says that Jesus Christ came to to seek and save that which is lost. That's His vision, amen. You know, it, it don't get any plainer than that, amen. And so. The Lord wants us to go out into the streets, amen, to seek out the lost and to reach the lost, to preach His Word, amen, to reach people like that. And I want to encourage you this morning, everybody here, as a matter of fact, everybody tap yourself on the, on the chest, amen, I just want to encourage yourself, get out of your comfort zone. Is that alright? Get out of your comfort zone. The comfort zone is the nowhere zone. No man's land zone. That's, that's the comfort zone. Amen. And as long as you stay in your comfort zone along the way, then you're going nowhere with God. You ain't going nowhere with the Lord. Amen. You're, you're not going to grow. As long as you stay in your comfort zone, you're not going to grow. Amen. You're not going to understand doctrine. Amen. The Lord is only going to teach doctrine to those that do His will. The Lord is only going to open up doctrine and open up His revelation, amen, uh, to those that do His will. You can read the Bible, and uh, you can get surface level understanding of how that things are, but I'm telling you that you will never grow in the mechanics of doctrine until you begin to practice what it preaches, amen? amen. To begin to practice it. John 7, 17, the Bible says, If any man will do my will, he shall know of the doctrine. Amen. If any man will do my, his will, he shall know of the doctrine, whether it be of God or whether it be, or, or whether I speak of myself. And that, that was Jesus talking. That if any man will do the will, everybody say, do the will. Do, do God's will, amen. Then he shall know the doctrine, amen. Just like you don't know nothing about the mechanics uh, until you dig around in the engine, right. amen. You know, I, I, I like, I like uh, when, when stuff happens, I, I, first thing I do, I go ask Brother Google, you know, or, or, or Brother YouTube. You know, I pull them up, you know, and, you know, how do you fix this? How do you do that? You know, and, and so I, I, I pull it up on there, and I look on there, and then, then I begin to, to kind of dig around in it and tinker with it and toy with it, amen? And, and before you know it, it's fixed, you know? It's, I'm like, I'm, wow, look what I did, you know? And, uh, you know, but... You know, you can read books and you can watch the YouTube videos, amen, uh, but yet until you dig around in the engine and turn a wrench, you're not going to know how all that stuff fits together. Amen. And you won't understand why I said to do this in the mechanic book and why I said to pull this out first and do this first, amen. When you get into to the engine, 
uh, then you'll see, you know, you begin to, to, to move stuff, you know, you're like, oh, you know, now, I get it now, amen, I understand that now. That's why they said to do that, because you start to practice what you learn, amen. You read the mechanic books, and then you start to get into the engine, and you begin to learn, uh, uh, you know, why this part works together with this part, works together with this part, works together with this part, so you have to pull this off first and all this, and then you understand why the mechanic book said this, amen? Said that you got, amen? Uh, it's because that you begin to practice what you learn, amen? You begin to practice, put it into, uh, into existence, amen? And that's how it is with the Lord, though. That's how it is with the Lord. When you start to practice what you learn in the Word of God, amen, then He begins to give you a deeper revelation. Amen. He begins to uh, uh, give you a, a deeper uh, understanding. He begins to give you deeper knowledge. Amen. Why? Because you humble yourself. That's why. You humble yourself. Amen. And, uh, uh, you know, you humble yourself in obedience and you begin to practice what the Lord teaches in His Word for you to do. First Peter 5 and 6. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that He may exalt you in due time. Amen? That's what the Bible says. Humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that He may exalt you in due time. A.K.A. He will exalt your understanding. How about that? Amen? A.K.A. He will exalt your wisdom. A.K.A. He will exalt your revelation. A.K.A. He will exalt your boldness to be a witness. How come? Why is that, brother? Because you're beginning to practice what you've learned in the Bible along the way. Amen? Uh, Pastor, what are you saying? I'm saying it's because that you, you're, you're beginning to step out. Is that all right? You're beginning to step out of faith and pray for people and, 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 and you're beginning to do evangelism. And preach and reach out. Amen. So, because you're beginning to, to do evangelism and all that, you begin to learn the mechanics about evangelism. About how to preach and what to say and, and you know, what to, what to really worry about. You know? Amen. And God be begins to teach you these things and you begin to grow along the way. Amen. In your understanding, you begin to grow in your boldness to be a witness for God in a very big way. God will begin to exalt you in all kinds of different areas. Is that all right? And His hand will be in what you do. Amen. Whatever it is that you do for His kingdom, for His glory. Amen. And yet you gotta, you gotta, you gotta <clears throat> practice what you're learning in the Bible. You gotta practice what you're learning in the Bible. In order to do that, you gotta, you gotta get out of your comfort zone. Amen. You gotta get out of your comfort zone. And if you're, if you're not willing to get out of the comfort zone, then you're never going to go nowhere with God. You're not going to go nowhere with God. You're never going to grow in Christ. You're going to, you're going to live in complacency. Amen? And you won't have no fire for God. You might have the fire for things of the world and things like that, but you won't have no fire for God. You're going to be a lukewarm Christian. That's what you're going to be, lukewarm all the way. And the Bible says in Revelation uh, 3 and 16, the Bible says that God will spew the lukewarm out of His mouth. God don't like lukewarm. He don't like lukewarm Christians. Amen? You don't want to be a lukewarm Christian. You, you, you don't want to be like that. You want to be faithful to God. That's what you want to be. Amen? Uh, you want to grow in the Lord, but in order for you to uh, do that, you're going to have to take the step of faith. Amen? And you're going to have to begin to practice what you're learning in God's Word. The Bible says in James 1, 22, Be ye doers of the Word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. Amen? Is it alright if I preach this morning? And, there, there's a lot of hearers only out there though, amen? There's a lot of hearers only living in self-deception. Living in self-deception. All they do is hear, and they hear, and they hear, and they hear, amen? They hear the Word, they don't do nothing with what they hear, amen? They don't, they don't practice God's Word, they don't witness for the Lord, they don't go and pray for people. A lot of people don't see demons coming out of people, Amen? Because they don't practice what they read in the Bible. They don't practice what they read in the Bible. They never come against demonic oppression when somebody's under demonic oppression. They never turn the rent, so sort to of, sort of speak, you know. And they, they never practice what they read in the Bible. 
It never comes alive in their life. Amen, Brother Kirk. Because they never do what it is that they learn what the Bible says when they hear what the Word says. We have to be doers of the Word. Turn around and tell somebody doers. doers. We've got to be doers of the Word, not just hearers only, because that leads to self-deception. That leads to self-deception, guys. Amen. And a lot of Christians are just hearers. Hearers only. And it's not the hearers that are justified. It's the doers. That's what the Bible says. Amen. That's what the Bible says. Amen. Romans 2 and 13. For not the hearers of the law are just before God, but the doers of the law shall be justified. Not the hearers, but the doers. They're the ones that will be justified. Amen? And James 2 and 17. You know, people say, well, all you need is faith, brother. All, all you need is faith. Faith alone. Well, okay, here's you some alone faith. Are you ready? Here's you some alone faith right here. Y'all ready for this? James 2, 17. Even so faith, if it hath not works, is dead being alone. There you go. There's you some alone faith right there. People talk about oh, only faith alone. Faith, no. <laughs> you know, faith alone is dead. It's dead. Amen. And, and, and but why is that? Because it's alone. They don't have works with it. Amen. And so we can't say that we really have faith yet without works. We can't say that. We can't really say that we believe the Lord yet we're not being obedient to what He told us to do. Amen. Jesus said in Luke six and forty six. Why call ye me Lord, and do not do what I say? So when you really believe in God, amen, you have, you have real living faith is what I'm saying, amen? You're going you're to be, you're going to begin to practice what that you've read in the Bible, amen, because you're, you're, really, you're really beginning to believe, amen? And yet you got dead faith if all you do is hear the Word. You can, you can read the Bible till you're blue in the face. Even pray till you're blue in the face. Amen? But just hearing only. Amen? And not doing it. Amen? That's, that's dead religion. That's dead, that's dead faith. Amen? And you're not going to do anything. Amen? You're just only hearing only. Amen? You, uh, you don't never witness to people. You don't never get out of the comfort zone so that you can grow. Amen? Guys, listen. That's the only way that you're going to grow in God. That's it. That's the only way you're going to grow in God. Amen. You got to get out of the comfort zone. Amen. You got to get out of just being a hearer only of the Word of God. Come on, somebody. Amen. And, 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 and becoming a doer of the Word is what I'm saying. God is no respecter of person. God is no respecter of person. There's no special anointing to do God's work. Amen. God, God is, is, is wanting a willing heart. That's what He's wanting. God's wanting somebody that's willing, amen? It ain't got to be great and wonderful and all that. Oh, he's just, he just great. Brother Lord, he just... No, no, guys, he's not wanting the great, amen? All he's wanting is a willing heart, amen? And that's what he wants. He just wants men that are willing to serve him, amen? And, 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 and just are, are you know, he, he, he wants men who are willing to humble themselves. Is that all right? And who just say, Lord, I just want to learn. And I just want to grow in Christ. I just want to learn to grow. Men and women who say, I want to do your will, God. That's, that's who he's looking for. Amen. Just like Isaiah 6 and 8 says, I bring it up quite a bit, but, you know, he says, here, here, uh, here, here I am. Lord, send me. I'll go. Amen. I'll go for you. Now, guys, I'm preaching here this morning. I'm saying that that's the heart that God is looking for. That's the heart that he's looking for. He's looking for the willing heart who says, Here I am. Send me. I will go for you. Amen. That's what he's looking for. Amen. I want to speak for you. I want to, I want to do your will. Amen. Yet, you have to be willing to step out in faith. Amen. Be willing to, to divide your time up. Amen. You, know, you got to work. Well, get up a little bit earlier. Amen. And pray. Sit before the throne of God. Amen. And, but I'm just saying that you've got to be willing to step out in faith. You've got to be willing to take a step of faith. Amen. And be willing to do what you're learning from God's Word. Do what God's Word tells you to do. Amen. You've got to be willing to become a doer of the Word and not just only a hearer of, of the Gospel. Amen. And so I want to, you know, just let that push your buttons this morning. Amen. 
Let that, let that affect you this morning and motivate you this week. Amen. Get out of your comfort zone is what I'm saying. Amen. And do God's work, regardless of what it takes. Amen. Do, 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 his, do his word. Amen. And, and you, know, you know, here lately I've been challenged a lot. Amen. And still fighting fear. Amen. And, but I'm pressing forward anyhow. Amen. I'm going forward for the Lord anyhow. Amen. And, and so, guys, I'm just saying, uh, I don't say that to be like, oh, hey, Pastor, great. No, I'm not great. Amen. I'm just saying that you got to get out of that comfort zone. Amen. What that you're comfortable with on, on your family. And you got things here and you work and you got things here. Amen. But your faith. Amen. This book tells you to separate that. Amen. And begin to, you know, work for the Lord. Amen. In a, in a very big way. So, so today... I just want to encourage you guys, amen. And of course, family and faith is, is all together. You know, you gotta, you know, if you don't take care of your family, the Bible says you're an infidel, worse than an infidel, amen. And so, uh, uh, some people ask me why I, I work and all that. Well, that, that's why, amen. Uh, because I'm, I'm gonna take care of my family, amen. And I believe that that's part of my faith, but also that just as part of my faith is the spreading of this gospel, amen. And taking the time out to actually do it, amen. And uh, uh, it, it don't get easier, amen. The, the fight is always on. The fear is always there, amen. But you still got to pick up and go anyhow, amen, because God said to, amen. And as you look in here and, and you figure out the mechanics of it, and you figure, you know, I mean, just like last night, there, there, there was this guy, you know, that, you know, I, I, I was thinking, man, where, where's that palm? Pepper spray at, you know, I, I thought I was going, you know, I, I, I didn't, you know, I'm going to have to go buy some, you know, I, I tell him this morning that, that I was going to go get me some pepper spray, you know, a couple, couple cans of that junk, you know, and because I've been watching these, uh, some of these, uh, these repo movies, you know, and so they'll, they'll come out there and, and, and get all up in their face and threaten to whoop them and everything else, and so they'll, they'll just take out a little tiny thing of pepper spray and, you know, put them on the ground, hey man, and then they're able to repo the car, get away, amen, so, and nobody's hurt, amen, and so, uh, last night, you know, there, there were some guys, you know, a guy that was upset, and, you know, pretty, pretty mad, and about to preach the word, and, and he, you know, it's, it's kind of like there's this invisible force field, you know, they'll act like they're going to rip your head off until they get right up on you, and then there's this invisible force field, and they stop, <laughs> you know, every time, without fail, you know, and so, so, uh, so I learned, you know, just to just to stand there and don't, you know, don't uh, don't uh, try to go at them. You know, you just you just stand there because there's this invisible field that'll be around you. Amen. Uh, that they'll that I mean, they'll, they'll act like they're, they're going to rip your head clean off, you know, and then they then they get right up on you and then they stop, you know, and, and then they calm down, you know. And but it's, you know, still, though, you know, you got to you got to take a stand for Christ. And you got to preach anyhow, amen? Irregardless. Irregardless. So, uh, amen. So, I, I just want to give y'all this encouragement, amen? Be doers of the Word. Here this week coming up, amen? Uh, be doers of the Word, amen? And uh, uh, praise the Lord. And so, th that's my encouragement. Uh, so, hallelujah. So, do it, amen?